Hello everyone, this is Monday, August the 14th, 2023. <clears throat> we have a current temperature of 17 degrees Celsius and we're going to a high of 26. Gonna be a hot afternoon, I tell you. All right, I am in downtown Halifax today and I'm just gonna show you something starting off here. I walked through the the park by City Hall. The, the, the little park where you, when you come out of uh, we walk through between Barrington and um, I, I think it's Grafton maybe or one one tree like that. Anyways, the next one above Barrington Street right after you pass City Hall there's a park there first time I came here this summer there was like three tents and they were down right down there by the roadway today there is one two three four there's four over there uh, let's see four yeah four four tents there now in that corner down in this area, we see another four. That makes five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, that makes eleven right there. Now we haven't done the other side yet. So eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 1 over there will make it 18. I think it's safe to say we got 18 tents down here in the Grand Parade now. 18, 19, that makes 19. I didn't see the second one. That makes 19 tents here, whereas a few weeks ago there was a couple. And this is just one place, okay? This is a... I'm not, I'm not saying it's, it's good or bad. I'm just saying... It's, it's because of the high price of apartments. There's a lot of people working can't afford an apartment. So I'm just showing you how bad the situation is here because this is just one little pocket. They've got these things all over the place. So there you have it. There's a stage all set up. I don't know what's going to happen. Anything going to happen here? Maybe. And there's City Hall in the background. We'll just leave that at that. I've showed that so many times. So we got 17 tents, 18, 18 tents in the park here right now. And that's just this park. There's a lot of other parks as well where, where they got tents. But that's just here. Well, let's uh, one out on the street, see what else we can see what's going on today. I never thought, I never thought you'd see the day when apartments were $2,000 in, in Halifax. I never thought you'd see that. That was like, that was, that was like uh, New York prices and, and places like that. That's, that's what it used to be. You didn't expect to see that here. But here we are. There's a lot of apartments here for, for, for $2,000 now. That's very common. And there's apartments for three and 3,500 here. You'd have to have a pretty good income just to pay that out for an apartment. Well, I'm back on Barrington again for now. For now, we'll see what happens. I might walk down to South End today. I haven't really been down right there doing much lately. Just touching the fringes, but anyways, there was 18 tents in the Grand Parade Park. 
We'll see what's down this way. But we might as well just keep going and walk down Barrington. Then uh, keep right on into the south end. Sound like a good idea? All right, good. I asked, I couldn't hear you, but I know you said yes. So we'll continue on. Wait for the light here at Prince Street. That Anglican church right there, it says established 1750. So I said, I said it was 1749. I might have seen a sign somewhere, but this sign right here says 1750. So and the address is 1749 as well. So thank you. For that. Anyways, that that's a. Uh, an old building. There's several old buildings like that around here. But I'm just there walking around, see what I can find to show you guys. And then, no panic. It's a nice day. It rained overnight. We got a few little showers, but it's, it's cleared up for now, and it's supposed to clear up, and the sun's going to come out this afternoon. We're going to have 26 degrees Celsius, so you can't beat that. All right. I got to keep a close eye on my screen because I was out on the weekend made a video and it chopped a little piece out of my video. Stopped running and then it started again. I didn't even see it. I don't know what's going on with this phone. It's a brand new phone. I may have to take it back yet and uh, tell them what it's doing. The video part of it's not working. It's working but not great keep shutting off on me. We'll keep an eye on it and then if you get any videos that I'm talking right along and then the subject changed and didn't make sense, that's what happened. My my uh, camera stopped recording there for a minute or two and then picked it back up and my sentence didn't make any sense. But that's technology. Other than that, it's a good phone, I like it. It's the uh, Google Pixel 6, wait now, yes, Google Pixel 6A, I think that's what it is. The Google Pixel 6A. Looks like this is giving a face lift right here. The whole, whole building. Good. It's about time that 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 don't look. They added two floors to the top of it, and but I guess the whole building needs a re, a rework to make it look good. Not every building you can add two floors to the top of it, but this was all cement and sturdy, and they put an extra two floors on top. Halifax is changing rapidly, in case anybody hasn't noticed. I got a good deal today on the bus. I got on, usually you get a transfer and it's good for like, uh, I don't know, two or three hours. I got on today and my and my transfer is, is for about, uh, I think it's like two o'clock this afternoon or three or something. Yeah, so I got a good deal on my transfer today. I might be able to, I might be able to use it. I think it's two o'clock. So I might be able to use it for getting around the city two or three times this morning or wherever I want to go. That's possible. And 
no traffic lights there. I usually walk up Rower Street and go by Argyle and Graff and all that. But I'm not going to go that way today. We're heading straight down south there. Straight into the south end this morning. See what's going on down here, okay? I haven't been right down in this end of it for a while. And I want to make some night videos soon because first thing you know, the summer will be over and night videos are always great. But I got to do it soon because the summer's going fast. We'll soon be taking our trip to Montreal. We're, it's, uh, it's less than two weeks now. We'll get this week to put in and one more week. And we'll be off to Montreal. And I'm really excited because we're going to take the train from Montreal to Toronto for one day and then come back again on the train. So we're going to have two train rides. So i got to make sure I do a video of the, the train ride. Look how foggy it is out over the harbor today. Lots of fog. Still on Barrington Street. I'm gonna rock right down Barrington and go past Peace and Friendship Park. I want to see how many tents are in there. And again, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying it's a. I'm just saying what it is. What it is. People have nowhere to live. They have to resort to tents when that's all they can do. And I can tell you another thing, a lot of people sleeping in cars. We're out early in the morning and I see them. I see them all the time sleeping in their cars. There's a lot of people sleeping in cars. If you're lucky, you got a van or something that you can you know, kind of make a little bit of a living conditions in. But if you just got a small car, you're sleeping in the back seat and it's not so good, but better than out in the rain. It's one step up from the street. So thankful I don't have to do that. Be thankful if you don't, and be kind to those who do. It's not their fault. If you don't have any money, not everybody got money all the time. But if you don't have money to give, a kind word, a smile, an idea ahead, good morning, it helps. Look at the leaves on the sidewalk that have fallen already. A lot of leaves. And it's not even fall yet, but always in August you get some leaves. You get some leaves falling off in August. Look at that beautiful old stone building right there. A lot of historic buildings are still here. They haven't all been torn down yet. We're losing them slowly, little by little, but Halifax is trying to preserve a lot of them, too. So, there's a part of Dalhousie campus, right there. You want to see a nice, well, it's, it's a little bit run down, but it's still a nice style of a house is right across the street there. Right there.
That guy's ranting to himself. <laughs> well, he's famous now, he's on YouTube. Yeah, that's one of the older buildings, yeah. Well, yeah, let's go across the street. Still green. Let's go this way. Let's go across the street, okay? Maybe we'll walk down a block and then continue on to the south end. I don't like to be do filming when there's a bunch of school kids coming. There's a bunch of elementary children. You know, some people think you're up to no good or something, you know. But they get, they get nervous, so. I just don't, I just don't do it if I see children coming down the street in a, in a class, I try to get out around them if I can. And Let's cross the street. Looking up that way. And I uh, will come. Over to the south side of the street. There we go. Okay, let's go this way. I'm on Hollis. I know, I was just on Hollis the other day, but... I'll be giving you some new stuff before long. When we go on our trip, we'll get all new. It won't be Halifax, but it'll be all new stuff to look at for a few days. Almost everybody who lives in Halifax has been to Montreal, so you probably enjoy the Montreal videos. And 
a train ride. Now that's going to be uh, exciting. How long has it been? It's, it's jumped on a real passenger train. I've been on the GO train and stuff like that in Toronto, but that's not the same thing. A passenger train with a dining car and, and, and all that. Oh, that's going to be exciting. Merritt House. I have no idea what Merritt House is. Must look it up one day. See, it doesn't say anything out here. All it just says is Merritt House. Not sure what it is. Let's see, make sure I got the spelling right. M E R I T, Merritt, Merritt House. With this little, little place right there. It's kind of cute. This guy can clean your windows with a drone. Well, it looks to me like there's no tents in this park. They, I know they tore them down out of here last year, and probably the first sign of one this year they tore them down again, so they probably, that's probably why there's not any tents in this park. Well, I guess it's because the kids come in here to play and they don't want there was a, quite a mess with that. Dents were in here before. And yeah, they probably, uh, they probably just don't want it here, but they don't mind it in some places. So we don't have any here in the south end in this park. That's yeah, the way it is. Okay. All right, we'll walk through uh, diagonally through Peace and Friendship Park. Always nice to walk through here. Nice little park in the south end. Really love it. Nice, nice, wonderful little place to spend some time. I see a cruise ship's in here today. It looks like it has jet engines up at the top. I don't know if that's what that is or something else. It looks like jet engines, but I don't know. Anyway, they're up there at the top of that, that, that cruise ship possible. Anything's possible nowadays. Looks like got some spotlights here to light up this area. Well, let's walk out onto the south end of Barrington. They're starting to get warmer already. What I but I, I'm going to go into Tim Hortons probably and hang out for a little bit. When I come out of there, 
I'll be taking off this jacket that I'm wearing. It's just a light rain, rain type of jacket, a nylon jacket that keeps out the rain, the wind. But I won't be wearing it when I come out of Tim Hortons because it's getting considerably warmer. They said it was 17 at the time I started this video, but it's safe to say it's 20 now or a little more. It feels quite warm. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen anything like that on the top of a cruise ship. They sure look like uh, jet engines. What else could they be? They sure look like it. I didn't know they could put jet engines on a cruise ship, but that's a, I'm going to get a better look at that, because that really does look like uh, jet engines up there on that. We shall see. It's a good sized cruise ship. It's not a, the biggest one I've ever seen, but it's good size. Now you tell me, does those look like jet engines? Up there on that ship. I'll zoom it up there and just take a look. There. Does those look like jet engines up on top of that ship? They do to me. Yeah. All right. Oh, they're restoring the train station. Look at this. Maybe they got plans. They've stripped down the paint off the outside. They painted one end already. And they got a company here called Something Valley Restorations and a mobile pressure washer. Wow, this is uh, pretty amazing now to see that they're actually going to do something with this train station in such a dilapidated uh, condition. They're going to maybe do something. That's very interesting. Yes, the old Veer Rail Station in Halifax, Nova Scotia is getting a facelift. I thought for a while they're probably going to tear it down or something, but no, apparently they've got use for it. So let's wait and see what happens here. I like to see the trains going again like you used to, coming in here every morning, every night. Used to get in here at night and they leave, go west in the morning. Sometimes you got in here in the afternoon, depending on what train you're on, I guess. Does anybody remember when the restaurant was right there on that corner? You went in through, you went in right in the corner where two walls meet. Yeah, you walked right in the corner door there into the restaurant. Anybody remember that? You came out of the train station and you walked right over there. There was a restaurant there. Somebody that sees this video tell me what was the name of that restaurant. I have no idea. All I know, every time I came down on the train, I had to wait to catch my other train and, and um, Always went over here to this restaurant that was here. It was right on that corner. Back then there was no superstore here. 
You like none of the stuff. But there was a restaurant right there. I just throw that out there if anybody knows. Can you remember that restaurant? It was in the days of jukeboxes. They had a jukebox in there. I don't remember if they had a pinball machine, but they had a jukebox. Remember that? Weekend seemed to fly by really fast this week. Things just went so fast. Here it is, Monday again. Monday again. Wife's back to work this morning, and my son is back to work, and I'm out pounding the pavement, just like always, right? Someone's moving from there, I guess. I've seen them loading. We'll be doing that before too long ourselves. On the 1st of October, we will be doing that. Moving into our new place. I can't wait. It's a big step up from the apartment we have now. Very modern, modern building. Has a nice balcony. And uh, lots of other things really handy to that building. There's lots of uh, stores and stuff really handy. I walked a lot of stuff. No need for a car. I can walk around that area and I can take a bus to downtown Halifax. And so we're not gonna be uh, needing to use the car to get here, which is great. I like bringing the car in here. Then you gotta park it somewhere and pay for parking. And uh, who wants to do that? Better to just leave it home and take the bus and jump off the bus. You're free to do what you want to do. You don't have to think about your car. Yeah. That's my outlook on it. Man, those look like jet engines for sure. They gotta be. They have to be. All right, I'm back. Still in the south end. I just found a really nice looking street here. It's called Church Street. Just look down this and tell me what that don't look nice. Hey, isn't that beautiful? Church Street, it's just a short street. It begins here at Morris and it goes down to Whatever the next street is down there, I'm not sure. Anyway, it come, runs off of Morris. All right, so I'm gonna come out Church Street, and we'll go down Morris. Then we'll make our way uptown. Where I'll end this video. Might get noisy here by this garbage truck, maybe. And then maybe not too bad. Well, I hung out at Tim Hortons for about, I think, I, if I take a guess, I'd say about 45 minutes. I'm not sure. About 45 minutes. And uh, came back out. Got going. Now i got to make my way up the street. And uh, probably by the time I get done this walk, I'll, I'll, I might even get the ferry across today, possibly. Might, I might do that. Might catch the ferry over today. To the other side, and then I'll, and I'll maybe walk home from the ferry terminal. That'll give me a good walk today. Yesterday, I almost broke my record. 
I walked 18,000 steps. Almost broke my record there yesterday. Well, I'm coming down uh, Morris, and we'll see where we'll see where my feet take me when I get down Morris. I don't think I'll go up Barrington because I walked out of line. Want to find another route? I gotta wind up at the ferry terminal and catch catch a ferry over to Dartmouth side. So I'm not quite sure what route we'll take yet, but we'll take a route. Make our way up there somehow. There's many ways to get there. All all these streets will take you to the same place if you just uh, wind your way through. You can't get lost. You just if you're going downhill, you're going towards the water. If you're going uphill, you're going away from the water. If you're flat, if you're going flat, you're going uh, north south. South north, if you're on a flat street. Up and down is uh, west to east, if you're going downhill. Going uphill, it's east to west. All right, we got that straightened out. Martha's Pizza. Don't look like it's open. Tour bus going. Oh, I got a green light. I might as well get going here. Get across the green light. see the water off in the distance there. I'm not sure what street I'll take yet. We got Hollis. We got Water Street. I don't know if we got anything else that I can take up to the ferry terminal. I can zigzag my way over. But I do need to go to the ferry terminal today because I want to take the boat across. That'll be kind of nice today. Take the boat ride over instead of the bus all the time. And I can walk home from the ferry terminal. Give me a nice uh, walk today. This little walk around the city is not enough. Gotta, gotta keep moving. Very important as you get older, make that your motto. Keep moving. Don't stop, keep moving. That strip of houses right there is really beautiful. All the different colors in each one. Whoops, I better get off the sidewalk here. I'm gonna go this, I'm gonna go across here when they open up this, get this red light changed to a green. It's going to get noisy here in a minute because we've got a couple of uh, trucks coming down the street. That will just stand here. Video them. Yes, I'm still right down the south end here, yeah, close to the close close to the train station and all that stuff. Okay. 
going towards the water. I guess we're taking Water Street today. Kind of looking that way. Gonna take Water Street. I think those are supposed to be cannonballs on the railing there. They might be real cannonballs, for all I know. Yeah, you want to see those houses from here? Aren't they nice? Look, beautiful color, two-story structures. All right, let's continue on down. There's the new building that's going up on the waterfront where it reaches all the way from lower water to right down to the boardwalk. <coughs> it's going to be a great addition to, to the waterfront. Can offer a lot of things that aren't there now, along with expensive apartments. <laughs> I would imagine. <laughs> Anything on the waterfront is not cheap. I would hazard a guess there's nothing under 3000 a month on the, on the waterfront. That's pretty much uh, guaranteed. There won't be anything down there under 3000 But if you can afford it, it's a nice place to live. Great spot in the summer. It might be a little windy in the winter time. But there's a picture of what it's going to look like when it's done. Some pictures from inside. A rooftop picture. Let's go across the street. We'll walk up. We'll walk up the other the other side when we get across. Here. We'll walk up this side, all the way to the ferry terminal. How's that? Is that good? Bishop's Landing. That's what they call this area right here. Bishop's Landing. There, I'll try to make sure that this thing doesn't shut off on me. I'm experimenting with different things, seeing what might be the trouble, why it did that. It might not be the fault of the phone. It might be this gimbal, the way the clamps go around the phone, possibly. It's affecting my phone because the button could be in the wrong spot on this phone. And maybe the clamps that go around the phone are uh, touching the buttons. I gotta keep my eye on that, make sure that's not happening. All right. Well, this has been a great day out here. It's a little cloudy, but nice and warm. Ended up putting my jacket inside my backpack because it got too hot. It was only a light jacket, but it was too much on this hot, humid, muggy day. So. Mm -hmm. Historic Irish Town. There's a little poster right here. A little. They have these signs all over in the city here, lots of places. Yeah, several places have these type of signs, cultural district, historic Irish town. And a long time ago, that's what the city looked like. And we are right there. And you can see there was a lot of piers and ships came in all along there. There were piers. 
There's St. Mary's Cathedral Basilica right there. From, it was here way back then. Wow, imagine that, eh? 1879 it was here. And there wasn't very many. And that looks like the, uh, possibly the Anglican Church right there. Now look at all the piers that were here. <laughs> we don't have any of those piers now. Wow, there were ships coming in from everywhere. Loads and loads of ships back then. Anyways, let's continue on. A little piece of history there. Little piece of history. Urbanish, fashion and home essential. Bishop's Landing, that's what they call this whole area right here. I guess from the days of the ships landing here, all those uh, docks they had down there. There was, there must have been, I don't know, it must have been 30, 40 docks back down there on the waterfront back then. They don't look like that at all now. All we got now is the touristy, touristy docks. They don't have the, the ones they had back then. I'm just as well satisfied we uh, moved ahead from, from the sail ships. I mean, as nostalgic as they are, they probably uh, outlived their purpose, and this is a modern world now, so we don't really need sailboats. We just something nice to look at and remember the, the, the glory days of sails. All right. Well, you're going to see me going right into the ferry terminal today because this is where I'm going, how I'm getting home. I'm getting home on the ferry today. I don't take the ferry all that often, but I thought, ah, why not? Right, let's get on the ferry today. Take a, take a ride across the harbor. <laughs> then I'll make my way home. I can walk from there, a nice little walk. It's about 5,000 steps from the um, ferry terminal to my where I live. So that would be good. You could walk. Look at these bricks on the sidewalk here. Okay. I want to get ahead of everybody so I don't get in the way. They don't get in my way. There's where the harbor hopper turns around right there, picks people up. The end of the line and the be beginning of the line for the harbor hopper. Don't you love trees hanging out over the street on the sidewalk? I love it. Especially on a hot muggy day, it's really nice. Well, we're almost up to the ferry terminal. And then I'm going to end this little video for today. Waterfront is one block in from here. So a lot of people walking around here, heading down the waterfront and stuff like that. And tourists always want to see the waterfront. And it is a beautiful place here in Halifax. We got a kind of a unique waterfront. It's right jam packed full of stuff. Not too much uh, 
vacant real estate down there on the waterfront. It's all used up with stuff. It's all there. Be prepared if you come here and want to walk on the waterfront. There's going to be lots of stuff to see in a in a small space. You want to have a look at this? I don't know if I ever show you this or not. It's a sailor heading out to his ship, heading towards the water. So he's going towards the ship, probably in wartime. And I'm going to turn around and show you a good look at it. There. He's got his uh, bedroll with him and his duffel bag. And he's got his sailor uniform on and he's heading towards the waterfront. So he's heading out to sea. Let's see what it says. This sailor statue representing those valiant young Canadians who served in both war and peace is symbolic of the thousands of sailors who were instrumental in the victory at sea and fitting an acknowledge, a fitting acknowledgement to those who continue to maintain the peace. The Atlantic Chief and Petty Officers Association. There we go. A monument to the sailors. who go to sea from here in Halifax. All right, we're almost over to the waterfront. Keep moving along. I'm going to stop right here. One of these uh, tour buses are coming in. I just want to show you it while it stopped. Not getting on it, but I'm going to show it to you anyways. And, uh, Get off from either side, doors on this side, and it swings around part way there on the, on the back. Same thing, yeah. Anyway, yep, I just saw it stop and show it since we were right here beside it. One last look at the bus as we make our way to the waterfront, uh, oh, sorry, the ferry terminal. Well, the ferry terminal is at the waterfront, so it's, it's not a stretch to say the waterfront, but I'm actually going to the ferry terminal as we will reach that very shortly.
Well, we're getting up really handy to the ferry terminal now. There's Tim Hortons down there on the waterfront. And one of my often frequented spots, but not today. I'm going to go to the ferry terminal and head across. Citadel Hill in the background up there. All right, let's go down. Very general. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this. Little walk down around the south end and back up to the ferry terminal. Hope you hope you're having a good day. Whatever you're doing. Hope you had a vacation this summer. That's, that's always great to have a vacation. We haven't had ours yet, but we're going shortly. Another week and a half. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video. Push that like button, and if you're not yet a subscriber yet, I hope you'll become a subscriber. And yeah. let me see, what, what have I forgotten? Oh yeah, don't forget. Have yourself a wonderful day. Take care, be safe, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye for now.